To use the built-in Applet feature for an IAR project, launch E Squared Studio and select File, New, and then See Project. In the next dialog box, we'll need to make some selections for our new project. First, in the left pane, select the executable IAR project, and then select Empty Project. Then, in the right pane, select the correct IAR toolchain. Here, we'll select RX, as our target device in this example is the Renaissance Starter Kit for the RX111 MCU. Then, of course, we'll need to name our project, and once this is done, click Next. You'll most likely be prompted for the path to the IAR toolchain. Here, you'll need to select the root of the IAR toolchain file on your computer. Once you've specified a location, click OK, and then in the preceding window, click Apply, and then OK to continue. Now, select the device option. In this case, we'll choose the RX111 group, and specifically the R5F51115 MCU. Then click Finish. Now that the new project has been created, go to the Project Explorer window and select and expand the project using the triangle next to the project's root. Then right-click on the project and select New and then Code Generator. Going back to the Project Explorer window, double-click on the newly created Code Generator item, then double-click Peripheral Functions. Now we can start configuring the MCU. First, we'll set up the clock features. Next, we'll want to set up the interrupts. To do this, double-click the Interrupt Control Unit. In our example, interrupts are associated with the switches on the starter kit, and we'll configure these accordingly. Next, we'll need to configure the ports used for the LEDs on our starter kits. To do this, select Ports from the Project Explorer window. Now we can select and configure each port as needed. If we select port E in this example, we can see a useful feature noted by the exclamation marks in the yellow circles. These indicate points of conflict should you choose to configure the corresponding item as an I.O. After the configuration is complete, click on the Generate Code button. Now you can see the code that was generated, and you can start working with the modules to add your own coding to this project. The source codes that you'll focus on are the modules with the underscore user.c at the end of the file name, except for the interrupt functions, which are in the file r underscore cg underscore intprg.c. For more information on E Squared Studio, including documentation and downloads, go to renaissance.com slash e2studio.